Hello everyone, Riker Mom here. Today I'm going to share with you my experience with the Can-Am Rider Education course. The first day was spent in the classroom reviewing the course material which was fully covered in this rider handbook which was given to us. The book covered everything from basic operation to safety to riding strategies. However, the book also covers material for two-wheeled vehicles which may not be relevant for the Can-Am products, but it's important to be aware that they can be included on the test questions. The second day of the course, we had to arrive at the range at 7 in the morning. It was dark and cold. It was only 55 degrees. Pretty unexpected temperature for here in South Florida. There were four Can-Am spiders that were brought over for our class to practice on but unfortunately, one would not start. So, since we were a class of seven students, we had to be divided into three groups to take turns on the bikes. Unfortunately, there were actually no Rikers there for us to practice on, only spiders. We started off learning basic operations, such as how to turn the bikes on and off, how to use the turn signals, how to apply the parking brake, posture, using the throttle, wrist positioning, where the horn was located, so pretty much getting familiar with the bike before driving it. Here I am on the white spider. Our first exercise was about getting comfortable on the bike by learning to start and stop and practice weaving. There are tiny colored cones on the ground that you can't really see, but those indicated our places to stop. When we arrived at the other side of the parking lot, the cones were staggered so we could practice weaving around the cones without stopping. We completed multiple laps of this exercise, gradually speeding up. Next, here I am on the orange bike. For this exercise, we learned to speed up and shift into second gear and come to a complete stop at the cones. We then had to execute a left turn. We then proceeded down the center of the lot, weaving through cones. We then repeated the exercise on the other side of the lot, but with executing a right turn instead. Here I am back on the white bike. The main purpose of this next exercise was to practice shifting into second gear and then approaching and executing a turn or bend in the road from second gear speed. What you will see is that we speed up at the beginning of the straightaway and then slow down before entering the turn. We complete the turn and then proceed to repeat this exercise on the other side of the parking lot. Here is the fourth and last exercise for the day. There I am still on the white bike. The purpose of this exercise was to conduct an abrupt or emergency complete stop, followed by a sharp turn, and then perform a much tighter weaving around the cones down the center of the parking lot. We then completed the same process on the other side of the parking lot. After this exercise ended, we were given about an hour for lunch and then met back in the classroom. We were given some more instruction and a chance to ask any questions. We then completed the multiple choice test containing 25 questions. 
To obtain a passing grade, you were only permitted to answer four questions incorrectly. The third day we met back at the range at 7 a.m. It was again cold and dark and it was testing day. They were finally able to get the fourth bike started, so now we were able to be divided into two groups instead of three. cold out here. It's only between 55 and 57 degrees right now. It might sprinkle a little on us. Let's see what happens. Here I am again on the white bike. For the first exercise of day three, we had to execute two U-turns followed by an S-turn and then make a complete stop. We then went straight and completed a 90 degree turn followed by another 90 degree turn. We then repeated this process on the other side of the parking lot. For this exercise, we had to speed up and shift the bikes into second gear down the back straightaway, then slow down before entering into a sharp turn. This was followed by maintaining speed through numerous switchbacks up the center of the parking lot while staying within the lane lines. You can't really see them on the video, but the lane lines were very tight, just only a little bit wider than the spiders. During the testing, points would be deducted for not staying within the lines. This exercise had to be repeated in the opposite direction as well. For this exercise, we start off turning into the back straightaway, shifting into second gear, followed by slowing down before entering into the turn. We then go up the center of the parking lot, doing numerous switchbacks in the tight lanes, followed by proceeding to the back straightaway again, speeding up and shifting into second gear before slowing down to enter the turn. Then we proceed into a lane switch situation in which we switched lanes, making sure to look over our shoulder at our blind spots and use our turn signals. And then switch back into the original lane. In this exercise, we practiced going over obstacles. They are really hard to see, but the instructor had placed two eight foot two by fours along the straightaway spaced approximately 100 feet apart. We were instructed to practice going over these obstacles with both front wheels and then with only one wheel. We then proceeded into a couple of turns and then down the back side of the parking lot practicing swerves. We repeated this numerous times. For the last exercise of the day, we accelerated up to 15 miles per hour down the center of the parking lot and then the instructor would suddenly gesture with his arm to indicate which direction we should make a sudden swerve to simulate swerving to avoid an unexpected object in the road such as an animal suddenly running out in front of you. We then execute a turn followed by a stop and then accelerated and then performed an emergency complete stop.
The testing began right after this last exercise. I hope this video helps to give you some insight into what to expect with the Can-Am Rider Education course. Make sure you like and subscribe, and there will be more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.